Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and a review of the Kensington Verimark. So this is the fingerprint key. Um, so it's like a fingerprint sensor you'll find on your phone or on uh, Apple devices. Um, so I wanted to buy this for my uh, Windows computer. Uh, I suppose being a bit lazy instead of typing in the password every time I can use this to log into uh, the computer using the Windows 10 Windows Hello because it's what it's designed for as you can see on the branding and then also um, there's a few other applications like password managers that you can use this for so you don't have to keep typing your password in and to unlock them and um, so look I use uh, Bitwarden um, for the password manager and uh, so it works with that as well and there's some other applications so as you can see it comes in quite neat small packaging as you can see i got this through the amazon warehouse so i got this uh, through a, a deal through there it's quite clear on and straightforward on the packaging uh, and it's quite good so it just states there about windows uh, hello it's compatible with so that's why i was wanted to make sure um, and then also the uh, kensington as well that uh, source the reviews of this one's quite good for the acceptance rate of the fingerprint um, so if we go quickly to unbox it, so as you can see, so there's the uh, packaging, so as you can see here it comes with your Windows 10 8.1 and Windows 7 and it just gives you about installation and it's plug and play so you shouldn't need any um, drivers or anything like that and hopefully it should download itself. And then you've got your warranty um, and service statements here. So it comes with a two year limited warranty as well. So as it said, it's, it's plug and play. So um, you shouldn't need to install any drivers. Um, so as you can see here, it's quite straightforward and quite little. Um, so I suppose you can have this on a keychain um, if you wanted to. Um, and it, all it does is you see there's a little lock here. So you can just pull that off and it's like a little cover for it. Um, and then you've got your fingerprint sensor. So the fingerprint sensor is there. Um, and then also you've got your USB here. So it just, I think I believe it's just normal USB 2. And then so that part just plugs into your computer. It should automatically, like it says, plug and play. So it should automatically install the drivers necessary for it. If not, you may have to just go through Windows Update um, or Device Manager, whichever you find easiest. Um, so next, uh, after this unboxing, we'll go through um, how you install it. And I'm currently um, going to put this into the USB port. I've got a USB extension uh, cable that I use. Um, and it's just um, connected to the uh, computer. So um, once that's done, it's quite straightforward um, and you can plug in. Okay, so... Let's go on to the next of where we're installing it in the Windows 10 machine. So moving on, now I've logged into my Windows 10 PC. So as you can see here, I've got the Windows settings uh, uh, window open and also the device manager window open. Um, you can find these by searching in your uh, search bar at the bottom um, left hand corner of your screen in Windows 10 or in the start menu and you'll find these options here to access. So I'm just going to insert the USB um, fingerprint reader now uh, into the computer. So I've just plugged it in. So it may recognize it sometimes in the bottom right hand corner when it's installing something new, it may uh, come up with that it's installing a new device or a driver. Um, so I'm just going to quickly scan here just to see if it identifies anything new. And it should come under biometric devices. And as you can see here, it's installed automatically. So um, I didn't have to update anything. Um, you may have to go into your over here into your update and then go to Windows update um, to get the uh, latest driver if nothing comes up here on the screen or if normally a little balloon comes up here to say it's installing a new device but as you can see here mine is actually installed uh, the Kensington fingerprint key 
um, so that's installed there so now we need to set this up in Windows 10 so what we can do here is now we know we've installed it correctly we can close a device manager so now we want to search on the find settings so we just want to do the uh, sign in and as you can see here you've got here set up fingerprint sign in so you just click on that one and it'll bring you to your sign in options as you can see here accounts and sign in options and then you've got all your options here so if you do have a windows hello compatible um, webcam um, then you can use your face to unlock your pc as well and then you've got of course the one we want the uh, fingerprint you've got pin number a security key like a uber key um, and password and a picture password as well so let's go to the fingerprint so i click on here and it'll say you've set up um, you already set up sign into windows apps and services with your fingerprint so mine's already been set up so i'm just go to add another so as you can see here you'll probably get the first time you set it up it'll ask you to go through and register your fingerprint so you say goodbye to entering complex passwords with your fingerprint to unlock your devices and verify your identity just like you do with your phone so you can click get started it will ask you for a pin number so if you haven't got one set up then it will ask you to set up a pin number so you just type in your pin number and as you can see here it says touch the fingerprint sensor so as you can see here i'll just uh, use my fingerprint um and then i will just take it just like with your uh phones um and everything else you will have to uh put your finger on and off the sensor a few times until it registers it totally so it shouldn't take too long until it's registered so it says all set and um so you can also add another finger so if you want your a thumb or another finger index finger um, or another hand you can do um, so you can set up multiple fingerprints and once you've done click close and that's it um, it's really straightforward um, of course you can learn more by clicking here and that will take you to the uh, web page for uh, Microsoft uh, Windows and again you, if you do want to later on you can click on an, another or if you do want to remove this option you can click remove and that will do it so what we'll do now is we'll log off and um, we can have a look to see um, how we can log in so we're now at the uh, login screen for windows 10 so i've just restarted the machine um, so now as you can see here what you have to do as usual to get into your login screen you can have your options here and as you can see below now you'll have a new icon for fingerprint and it will say there to sign in scan your finger on the fingerprint reader or you can go to choose your password or the windows hello pin number so you, if you do um, have any issues or anything you can still log in with those options but you've got there so you can just click that if you haven't um, have it hasn't selected it by default and then as we come over to here you'll see I've got my fingerprint reader and then there and then if I click it it says hello and then it's logged in to Windows and it's as straightforward as that and it's very quick as well at reading I have tried it on other fingers that I haven't registered and uh, they've all um, worked properly so um, I've had no issues so thanks for watching and please remember to like or subscribe and if you have any questions then please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.